Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single soldier permission. It's time to strike back up deep in month number seven. We deep in August. Um, it's month number six actually. Deep in month number six we find ourselves in a tough spot. Uh, we still don't have corpses, so that needs to change ASAP. Got a nice little rifle here. Five to seven. No, well, that's five to uh, five to six. Sorry. Still good enough. Let's upgrade the weapon. Superior hair trigger, yes, for the chance of an additional shot. And let's use the laser sight. Okay, as I was saying, we're finding ourselves in a difficult spot where we can't get enough corpses at the moment. So let's try to use this mission here. Um, and if we, if we can... We might simply try to kill everyone, even though we don't protect the device. So success in this mission here concretely would look like killing everyone and not necessarily protecting the device. It's counterintuitive, but it is what needs to be done. Okay, are you guys getting close to a car, please? The answer seems to be no. In which case we're continuing to move forward. There's a nice little mech in the corner. All right. Seems like uh, the first pack has moved into a potential kill shot range. 12 points of damage, just what we were looking for. Alright, the enemies seem to be highly afraid about what is happening. Good, very good. That's how it should be. Ooh, get closer to the truck, please. Alright, blocking the stairs so that no one else can move up. And our next job is to... Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Our next job is to snipe and kill this guy here. The Spectre. Or maybe explode the van. Yep, it would hit both of them. Good enough for me. Nice. Are you shitting me? I'm going to show you what I think about running up to me. 
The AI is cheating again, and I hate that. Like, I hate it so much. Coincidentally running into us, of course. But you know, this was a really, really bad move because you positioned yourself so beautifully. And falling damage is a lot, guys. Yep. So we killed two str uh, struggler, uh, stranglers, um, one, uh, two sectors. The mutant is almost dead. Mutin has a really tough time. Well, that would be a kill, right? Right. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so two Advent soldiers were down. We also killed um... oh, okay, I see where this is going. You think that you've got uh, that you've got it figured out, don't you? Give me time to reload. Well, let's see. So, Mutant, two um, of the sectors, uh, two further um, Advent, uh, one, one Spectre over here, and a Shield Bearer. That's an overall amount of seven. Not bad as a start. That's a great remote start as well. All right, two more down. He thinks we're still up there. Joke's on you, buddy. Hmm. Okay, so... Problem is the mech. If we move away, we can't immediately restealth.
but we could move so far away that they wouldn't be able to catch us completely out of line of sight let's do this the problem with them is they are already like um, activated Good. Time to shadow and re-stealth. And get far, far away. Maybe we can lure them into the into the gas station. Hmm. Just need to get him into the gas station. It's a perfect remote start. There's another one over here. I call absolute and utter bullshit on this. Seriously. Like that's the worst sort of retarded cheating that the AI could do. I'm sorry, but this is just nonsense. They have absolutely no indication where I am. But yet both of them are running straight next to the field. And of course they do it just at the very moment um when i'm in range and not one single bit earlier here yeah, little f u present Yes. It's annoying because I think I could have gotten even more. These were the last three. Ah. Valiantly fought, but yet it wasn't enough. Just because uh, the enemy has uh, cheated. If I could have, uh, if I could have gotten them here into into the gas station and uh, soften them up with another um, with another nice nice little um, explosion I would have had my uh, my single shots as well as sting ready so as long as I would have stayed in concealment, it would have been impossible for them to uh, essentially find me. But the moment that I moved into range, they were right next to me, uncovering me. Well, 
at least it had uh, demonstrated that under the right circumstances we were able to to get corpses. So that that's a good outcome or that's a positive outcome out of it as well. Getting the corpses. More alien alloys, more um, crystals. That is helpful. So I think with the alloys and the alarium we're fine. Even the supplies are good. Um, Psylabs. I mean, that's a big question whether or not we want to go uh, with it. The problem is a lot of alarium and really also a lot of energy. So we would need to dedicate a full um, new engineer just to power the labs. I'm not sure. Good. The school check is a solid item to as an as an emergency item to further reduce the avatar project. We could go with the shadow keeper, but we're not having any sniper. Frost bomb is okay, but really not needed for us because the the problem with the frost bomb is you're trading your action for the action um, of an enemy but if you only have one soldier then so what you are just delaying everything for one round this here would be helpful but we're missing the corpses we will eventually get there for now, unfortunately, we don't have any more projects. Having this, uh, the school jack is definitely helpful, specifically since uh, the Avatar project keeps on ticking down. Our covert action will be delayed by a week. Well. That stinks because we had, I think, a promotion uh, here. It happens. It happens, though. Good. Finally, we're bond level two. That means if we put both of them together onto a mission, it'll be faster. And there is another supply rate. Large number of Advent troopers present under Advent only leadership. Well, Sounds like another mission for our Reaper, I suppose. Um, we can blow up several supply items and maybe weaken them. And if we play our cards right, this might even be a mission that we can win. There is no timer on the mission and we might be able to take them out one by one. Very difficult, so we're looking at 15. Might include the Chosen. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to see that in the, next, um, in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely evening. Um, if you like the content, leave a comment down below as well as a thumbs up. All right, bye-bye and see you soon.